But unlike Angelica Oles or Pastel Bell, there's only one character that has appeared through both T-Channel sagas, and it's none other than her favorite positivity turtle himself, Repzilla. In both instances, Repzilla, when called out, initially shifted blame. In the Gabby Hanna situation, Repzilla was quick to criticize Gabby for her e-girl inspirational video, saying she was disrespecting the dead. <laughs> It's so intense. There's a video. There's a vi okay. When I first saw this video, it's called Angelica Olds manipulated a grieving mother. I'm like, holy crap! Can you imagine a video being called that? Like, oh, that's intense, right? That's intense. And I watched it, and the video was so intense. Like to be honest, when I was like, okay, spoiler alert, by the way, Bianca's family completely sides with Gabby. So it's like a complete like, whoa, okay. That's interesting take, right? Um, so it's like really interesting. Um, so I almost didn't want to cover this, but then I then I saw this video and I'm like, okay, I can't not cover this because what this this video is so hilarious. We're gonna watch this video. It's, it's I don't know, and maybe it's because I'm really separated from the topic, you know. But I, I like and I, I feel I feel for it because some of the people I'm associated with are like so into it. They're so aggressively into it. I'm just like. Yo, I'm like six feet apart. Like, yo, I ain't trying to get COVID, you know? I realized this. I'm like, okay, this is pretty intense. But then I see this one. And I'm like, okay, wait, Gabby Hanna lied. So, all right, who threw the dirt first, right? Who threw the... So, obviously, Gabby Hanna was trying to freaking, like, one-up one up a sister. She was, she was trying to go a little bit harder. You know, like, okay. Gabby Hanna was like, you want to play Angelica? Don't you know? I'm gassing up the whole place and I got lots of, I got plenty of matches. So Gabby is not here to play around. So this is pretty intense. Um, I, I'm not, I'm, I don't, look, maybe she's holding another secret weapon where she's like, yes, I have, you know, but she doesn't mention anything. And if she's donated after this video or be, right before this video, that's one thing. But she's acting like really high and mighty. And in my opinion, she should have donated after you know, like back in 2020 or, or 2019, whatever, after her video, her original videos. But now she's like, okay, let me take the, the high, let me be up here in the high chair. Have you guys donated? Because I did just yesterday. No, 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 you should have donated back in 2020 when you apologize, if you want to be a big girl. Because her video is literally called Justice for Bianca Devins. So, like, honestly, here's the thing too, but like, it's, it's not just Gabby Hanna, but it's like, okay, there's this, uh, this girl in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. She plays Captain Marvel, and like, I've seen her on Instagram. She shares like GoFundMes, and it's like, or, or she's, I don't know if she does it frequently, but I saw her do it once. And it's like, you're sharing GoFundMe, but you're not donating yourself. It, it feels weird, right? Like, like, the few times that I've done that, I've donated like a at least 50 bucks. You know, it's like, whoa, what, what? Where is the receipt, girl? That's all I'm saying. Hey, make me look stupid. Make me look stupid. I want to look stupid. I want to know that you donated because I ain't seen no receipt. Chat, do I look stupid? Has she done this shit? Has she donated? Because like, what? I haven't seen anything of her donating, but I'm, I mean, I'm sure she has, right? She had, she has to have done hey, that. Hey, someone in the chat says, how do you know she didn't donate in 2020? Well, that's the thing. She's assuming those people didn't donate. So like, I, I, I'm just saying, wait, you should have receipts that you donated if you're assuming other people didn't. Not that I think they did, to be honest, you know? I don't think they did. Uh, she did? She did? Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Fuck. Okay, I'm missing it. I'm, I'm missing it. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to have to edit that whole thing out. Because I guess I was wrong. She donate? How much she donate? How much she donate? They say it's on her Twitter. She did donate? Okay, you know what? All right. Guys, okay. You know what, guys? Look. This is an example of me... Taking back my little speech on a live stream, Gabby did donate. Shout out to you, girl. You get to look good in this. Fuck yeah. You flaunt that all over these fucking T-channels. Fuck yeah. Rock on. Something takes a part of me. Hell yeah. Okay, okay, girl. You get that point. You get that point. What's up? You donated? Okay, I don't even care if you donated 50 or, uh, or 20 bucks. You know, I don't care. That's, that, that is a flex. Okay, there we go. They say she donated her ad revenue from the video. Which video? I am not sure. This one or the old one? Wait. Hey, it better not be this one. It better be the old one. Uh, Nick, Nick, look, look. If if I if I have Nick on, then I'll forget what I'm gonna say. All right. Should I should I go on the on air server thing? Anybody can hop in. Yolo. Uh, high key Bree. I think you had an autocorrect. You typed Quran. I think you meant to type corn, because nobody here is reading the Muslim Bible. All right. All right. 
Rep, we're gonna go on the on-air server uh, channel on my server. Okay, you 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 have privileges on there. Okay. Okay. Cheers. See you there. Hi. Yeah. What's up, dog? To answer your question, uh, Kim Devins tweeted out publicly saying, "Just because Gabby didn't publish uh, publicize the donation doesn't mean she didn't donate." Oh. I don't know. I guess I'm having like an existential crisis because I, I I feel like I thought my friends were more reputable than this. Is this is like the most clear cut case of all time? The most clear cut case of someone getting f and everybody playing fifty different ways. It's it's all it's it's her fault. Like it's okay. it's insane to me. Like they, this is objectively. F so you in the beginning of the stream used the, like the drama channels took it too far. Yeah. What did they take too far? Why would you minimize it that small? They lied. Wait, I, wait, me saying it took it too far was minimizing it? Yeah, absolutely. That's, it's, well, so how am I supposed to say? Dude, how am I dude, supposed to word it? All right, dude, you can't take something too far that's objectively f***ing false, okay? Because all these people right now, I, I want to know, let me just gauge you and Rebzilla because we're talking and we're like having a nice conversation. Uh, and I, would, I just want to know, do you think there's anything objectively wrong with reading an article and, and like saying that someone has a nice shirt? Like, do you think, do you think that Gabby did anything wrong now? It, uh, back then in that context no in the context oh, oh. of like understanding what's going on w like in 2020 would you make the, uh, 2021 would you make the video you guys made in tw like uh 2020 um well the context is different from then to now but it it would be difficult not to make that video because her her reputation of and her track record is just so bad. Like her, like you, you can't. But what does her track record have to do with the fact that she opened up an article and said a girl had a nice shirt on? When you say it that way, the context oh! that's that's not that's not at all bad. Like you can say, oh, somebody's. You got a point, Edwin. No, I'm not saying it in a specific no. way. I'm telling you, okay. there is nothing controversial about that video. No, nothing. There's no way to look at it. There's no light that it looks good in. Like it, it doesn't look bad. Literally, unless you add. 50 other drama stories that you've probably made videos on. Well, it's like this. In the context of does she does the girl have a nice shirt? That's that's not bad. But given the context that she often has she has this track record where she manipulates people and she's just like does these terrible things, then you it comes with a certain type you, of expectation. Okay, so do you, I, I just want to skip ahead here cuz this is like really related to something else somebody said. So, oh, you can finish, but yeah. Okay, well, the context, uh, there's, it's, it's, it's hard to say because there's multiple different kinds of contexts here because the story, ha you have to track it back from the beginning. The story comes out. This is a story that's very public. Uh, these, pictures, these pictures were spread out all over social media, all over yeah, Twitter. absolutely. Everywhere. Um, this was being covered by Philip DeFranco, uh, multiple other people. I covered it in a news type setting as well. Yep, yep. Um, mm -hmm. And then, not too long after that, Gabby Hanna, who I've also covered, and this is right around the same. And this is, it's interesting because it was right around the same time that Jesse Smile, the Jesse Smile situation happened. So she was getting hate for that, and then she comes out and does this. So, but comes out and does this. Like, what is this? She, let me. What let was me, her big flaw that you think she did in this video? It's, it's hard for me to speak on it now should we try to play this is a trap this is fully a trap i'm letting you know that i'm trapping you yeah i played or something or yeah, yeah. What, what did you do wrong let me speak let me speak on both sides of it so it's hard for me to talk on it because i look i consider you a friend i don't know how you fucking feel about me especially i, you, I guess you think i'm a tea channel or whatever but it's like i don't want to make you mad I'm not trying to do that. No, Rebzilla, I don't care if you make me right. mad. I don't care if we're like, well, we can be friends after. I just want to know what Gabby did wrong. After, after, right now. <laughs> okay, so when she when she went over this article, she had already done multiple other things that demonstrated that she manipulates people. Oh, there is the bias part. Okay, but what did she do wrong in the video? What's wrong with this video? You didn't like, say what. I, okay, okay, okay. He does this, and then what she's do what she's doing is she's not paying attention. She's going through this article, and then she comes to this part of the article, mm -hmm. where it says, it says what this article piece is about in bold. And this, right around the side, the context is, is that right around this time, this is a huge story. Everybody's talking about this. This hurt a lot of people. A lot of people were scarred from this. It's really sensitive. 
-hmm. So you have two different things. It's important to know that you have the uh, tragedy that happened. Yep. Then you have the Jesse Smiles thing that mm -hmm. she's currently in a controversy for. She's not being seen in the best light. Okay. Because she's, it's come out that she's manipulative and all this other stuff. She's already been drugged all over by commentary channels. And mm -hmm. then she does this. And the, I guess one of the things should, that people were upset for is like, how does she see this? Because this was such a big story. And then it makes it through editing and all this other stuff. My criticism was, I don't believe that she couldn't have seen it. I think that she saw it. All right. So your criticism is she didn't read the article. Yes. Okay, you didn't read the article. You called it a murder article in your video. It's literally an article on e-girls with one tiny paragraph at the bottom of the page. So I know when you made the video, you didn't read the article either. So I don't know how you could apply that criticism to literally anybody in this situation. When I made my video, I said that she was making a video on e-girls. No, you, you made a video saying she made a video on a murder article. I've it's made, it's, it's in your transcript. Videos so many times because of you and Tommy. I've watched it over and over again. And I say, Gabby Hanna was making this video about this. Oh, it's, I, I don't even want to talk about it because it's sensitive. This, the, the whole thing with the mother and the family. I feel like this is something that we shouldn't be talking about, especially uh, now consent she thanked me for talking about it on my timeline so i'm just telling you that the big criticism that all these channels made and i i didn't watch ready to glare's video until today mm. ready to glare made this you made this uh, mm. uh angelic Oles titled the video like this and clickbaited it to talk about it at the end of the video dog all of you guys at this time i don't know if you do this anymore but what you guys can do is you just watch each other and regurgitate the same talking points in a different 17 minute style that's what all of these people do because i guarantee not a single fucking one of you read the article i guarantee not a single fucking one of you actually gave a shit because any person who like listens to this right now literally has to either die on the hill or admit gabby didn't do anything wrong in that original video Nick, and no, most people who look Nick, at it no agree with me that she family, didn't do anything wrong no disrespect to the family at all when i'm talking about this this is very important for me to say that when i made my video i started off by saying gabby hannah made this video talking about how to turn into an e-girl and she happened to cross the part in the article where she it, it explains uh, a murder victim, a tragedy that had most recently covered. And one of the reasons I did cover it is because it was a recent story that I did cover. And people reached out and they're like, oh, this But your quote from your video is, Bianca Devins was murdered. I mean, she was leg uh, has a legitimate art uh, murder article that she's pulling up as an example for a video. How do you not see this or how does someone not see this? So you exactly. didn't read the article that you talked about in the video. Why don't you think I read the article that I made a video on? Because you called it a murder article, and it's literally like midway towards the bottom of the article, and the whole article is addressing just regular e-girls. It's like e-girls, what they wear, how they look, and then it's like at the bottom, violence against e-girls. It's like a section, it's a sub header of the actual entire article. Nick, like, I if you look at it, it's not like Bianca Devins was murdered. It's e-girls. That's what the article is. Like I said, like I said, when I first made the video, when the video first starts, I go over it and I say this, she was talking about how to turn in, like, how to turn into an e-girl. Again, no disrespect to the family that I'm having to bring this up again, but that's what I said. And then I, when, after you guys came at me, you and Tommy specifically, like, I listened to you and I went back and I put uh, changed the title of the video and I did this because I'm listening to you. I, I don't know if it's you guys came at me. I feel like you came at me a little bit harder than the other people. I don't know. I mean, I think it might be because I'm a little bit more easily accessible to you guys. You can just reach out and you can talk to me, which you should have did in the first place. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I don't operate like that. <laughs> I, I literally know that's literally. Well, I don't yeah, it's, 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 what's funny is, is you don't operate like that, but I do. That's and good, dude. You can play the morally we, right we, card we, here. At least I read the f***ing article. Uh, I read the f***ing <laughs> article. Listen to me. I, I don't I think you read the, read the article. The and, Doug, I thought it was funny that you came in and kind of agreed with us on Tommy's stream. And now that Tommy's stream is down, you're like, Gabby hey, well, slandered I, me. Gabby <laughs> slandered me. Oh, no, Repzilla. Who's, who's Oh, no. Who? What's funny is, is whenever you're in hot water or you're hurting about something, I reach out to you in DMs and I talk to you about those things, but you don't. Okay, but when I'm in hot water, right. I didn't do something as stupid as this. Oh shit! Wait, I told you like multiple times that I read the article. 
And I don't believe you because you called it a murder article. Well, you're entitled to your opinion. Okay, but like it's pretty f obvious, dude. Obvious. And dude, how could you possibly say it's disrespectful for her to say this girl had a nice shirt when you f did a news article on this girl's death? Like literally, you have two videos, I think three videos, one on the apology, one talking about how it happened, and one talking about how Gabby said her shirt was nice. Where the f do you fit in this situation where you have any room to talk, my dude? Just, I've explained it to you, and I don't want to talk any more into it because it's like, dude, this whole community is fucking dog shit, and I'm so sick and tired of it. Like, I, I, I don't, I get it. We're slaves to our fucking audience. We have to sit here and shit on Gabby Hanna because Gabby Hanna is the big bad. Dude, they're calling your Onision too. Fucking. Like not to further piss you off because anything I could say is going to upset you and then that's not what I want. That's I don't want to piss you off because I actually respect and I care about you and I don't want to do that. That's All right, that's, thank that's, you. I appreciate I, I actually I really don't appreciate I don't actually don't care. But like I, I mean, you could apologize or something or whatever. Dude, I don't need apologies. I don't need you to like make it easier on me. I, dude, you're cool. You're a cool dude, okay? Totally fine. We don't have to talk about like how much we like each other or dislike each other. I, I, I still don't understand what Gabby did wrong in that video. I'm looking for the original article, by the way. I could pull it up, yeah. If you want to you, you find the original article, go to the sources in my video and it's linked. Okay, because, yeah, okay, let me find it, because... Oh, you linked it, but you didn't read it? You keep, you are the one, like, dude, come on now. You you are the one that keeps saying that I didn't read the article. I don't know why you keep saying that when e I'm telling you... E-Girls and E-Boys explain, okay. Why would okay, I make so it is So it is an article about E-Boys e and E-Girls, okay. Dude, okay, how, how could she possibly have been mistaken by reading that? Holy okay, shit. Okay, you know, well, yeah. Okay, I, okay, yeah. When it's called something like that, because I, I couldn't find it from Googling it, but now that I see it's called that, you know, I get that it's a stupid mistake. Dude, like, none yeah, of these you, fucking people read that article. If they the, did, the it's thing is, like, okay, story. When it's called something like that, I can see how it is. Is it's definitely a stupid mistake, especially when she's as clumsy as she is. You guys, yeah, it, it's fucking Gabby Hanna. She, she, allow her to be clumsy and make dumb mistakes. Allow that. Allow that. You literally already shaming her for everything else. Allow did her to he make read, a fucking... Like, did she read any of the other passages in the article? Why would she just start reading nah, an she, article I mean, halfway I mean, through let's face it, when she's like, looking at pictures? Like, like, like she wasn't about to be inspired by Tyler. Like, like, I'm sorry, I'm looking through this, like, she's not about to be inspired by Kyler. Who the hell is that, right? And there's nobody really else. Like, if you, okay, let, I'm sorry. Let me, I don't think I'm showing the screen. Like, let's be real. I'm showing, I'm, I'm showing the article on screen. There's and literally dude, by nobody the way, Chad, else being shown except for. You guys can cry about this all you want. When I stepped on the stream, 200 people came, so shut up. Wait, what? That's supposed just, to mean. I'm just saying, the only person that's being shown except for, like, Ga uh, Bianca is, like, some dude called Kyler and some other things that was, like, removed, I guess, but... You know, it's not a lot of options, so she just Googled it and was dumb. Okay, I, I get I get that. That's a dumb mistake. Family comes out, and the family goes, you know who you should be mad at? The drama channels. And everyone's like, wait, the drama channels? How could you possibly not perceive that as the people in the house being upset about it? Like, I, is it not rational to come to the conclusion that the family was upset about how this was handled? If they're saying that you should be mad at the drama channels? Like, you played that on stream, dude. Well, Do you not come to that conclusion? If the, family, if the family comes out and they say you can't go, you cannot say anything against the family because this is this is something that affected them personally. So at that point, I think everybody just needs well, well, to. Petty Page ratioed the mom on Twitter, so I guess you can. Uh, I guess no, as long as you hate Gabby Hanna, like you, uh, you, you lose your victim card. I can't speak for everybody you know I mean? else. I can only speak on what I've done. And I'm telling you, I'm trying to explain to you my situation, and then you're just not accepting it. And I can't help that you don't accept it, but I'm telling you, that's what it is. You know, you just disagree. And I can, ag I'm willing to agree to disagree because, like, like, I don't know how any any other way to say it. Like, I'm not afraid of you, dude. Because you tweeted like, out, like, I, we're like, all wrong on this like, point. No, it's just you. Yeah, I like, I just, I'm trying to, like, respect, be respectful to you here and listen to you and hear you out. All right, dude, I, I don't care about the emotional shit. Can we just try to talk about the points? What's going on? All right, what's I'm going on, I'm trying to talk to you about the points. What the you, you've been, right been acting like you, you've no. been acting no, like- No, because I don't respect any of you people. I really I don't. This is you people? This isn't about you people? people. This is the most clear cut yeah. fuck up ever on this Nick. entire website, and about, nobody can wrap their about, head around uh, it. Well, it's, 
it's extreme, bro. You've been, you've been acting like this even before the drama channel stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's getting personal. Not, Let me, not, if me. anybody needs to tap out, do I tap out? Who's going to tell me? Third party just, should tell like, me to tap I out? I'm like really upset about something, and I don't think it's anything to do with this shit. Guys, I feel like you're projecting. should I tap out? Is everything okay? Look. I'm I'm feeling buzzing. I'm feeling all right. Like you talk about like fifty other aspects of the situation. So, guys, you got any questions for what Gabby did wrong? Throw them. And will be used against in the court of internet. Yeah. <laughs> like it's actually crazy, and I'm not just talking about Rapzilla. He's just the one in the call with me. Like there are so many dog shit people, yeah. and like yeah. even my own community, dude, who says that all these T channels are objectively bad, are still shutting up about it. It's but crazy. Is, Everyone in private gets it. Somebody though. disagrees with you, you get louder, or you puff up your chest, and you act like you just don't want to listen to it. Okay, then you should tell me something I'm wrong about, so you can get louder, or you could say it I nice and calmly and win the chat. Like, what? dude, I, I'm I'm arguing points. You're arguing emotions. I don't care about that shit, dude. It's, it's even not even about emotions at this point. It's like you can't disagree with Nick or he'll just He'll come at you and your friends don't want to fight with you. Dude. I'm so sorry You can't make an argument. You're just like literally it going after me for that argument, dude. Some you just don't want, I don't want to fight with you All right, so then like why are you engaging with the conversation? I was talking to Edwin at first Should we tap out? I mean we can tap out I'll like if you me. can't, if you it, don't have anything to argue with, okay. it's not really worth my time. I don't argue with it. I just feel like it's not right. The situation's evolved into something that's just like, it's 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 just disgusting. Yeah, I mean, dude, I, I agree with you. We're seven degrees of separation away from entirely all the blame being on Angelica, you, uh, fucking. I, I guess less so. Ready to glare, but her video had five hundred thousand views. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Okay, the same look, bullshit story. Yeah, yeah, uh, Ready Glare, should we watch Ready Glare's video? She was not fucking anything, dude. Like, dude. It's, dude, the, I, here's the thing. Ready to Glare was, like, the least offensive one who just yeah, told and, the same story that wasn't true. So, like, well, the, again, the fact like, the matter I don't is, think she's a bad person. I just think she just talked about a story that's just ridiculous on all fronts. But and did she? Did you actually watch it? Yeah. She didn't actually, she was, she was commenting, bro. It seems like we're doing the fucking Augie show, whatever, we're just talking. Like, we're just talking. She's yeah, it's the same shit. Point. Like, how could she not have possibly seen this in the article when it's obvious? Yeah, that yeah, totally but but it's not the end of the world. It's she's not saying as offensive others. She's she's not trying to fucking like end her to the ground. Hey, you know. Let me, ask you, let me ask you this from this perspective. What up? What do you got? <laughs> are you drinking? Uh, it's cool if you are. Like, yeah, absolutely. Okay, Let's keep going. Fucking slowly. Right. I feel like I, I feel like honestly I'm sober and I'm gonna have to get a shot in a second because I just feel yeah, like bro. You gotta get in the mood, bro. You got if you're not. Sorry. Uh, so. All right, look at it from this perspective. Like, he already fuck. I can't speak for everybody else, and if you, I've already told this to you. I, you've watched the video. I don't know if you've watched the video as much as I have since you guys have been coming at me for this stuff. But I actually talk about the people that make videos on Gabby Hanna just to to repeat this cycle, just to hate on her, just to uh, progress that progress that agenda. And I say that is wrong. Well, I appreciate I, you doing that. Do what? I appreciate you doing that. Yes. And I, it's, it just doesn't make any sense to me because you come at me so fucking hard. I don't know if that's just like, that's that's what you do and you can't help it, but it's just like... Rapzilla, you made a video talking about this situation, quoting a murder article, quote unquote. It's but stupid as fuck. Don't you understand, like, this situation was very high emotions when it happened and it affected so many people and... Do you know my problem with you, Rapzilla? I can, I'll, I'll sell it out for you really quickly, all right? Yeah. This is my problem with you. Okay. There are a lot of questionable situations with Gabby Hanna. Uh, for example, I think one of the most criticizable ones is her going on Discord and threatening to sue children. That's probably an objectively bad thing yep. Gabby Hanna's done. Perfect example that. to bring up. There are totally qualms you could have about oh, yeah. Gabby Hanna's treatment of Jesse Smiles. There's a list of things. This is one that is objectively not Gabby's fault. And the Damn. fact that you and all these other people can't just turn around and go, I got this one wrong, means I don't give a fuck what you say on the other 11 fucking videos some of these people have on their channels, dude. Because this is literally the most clear-cut case of someone getting royally fucked over. Dude, Angelic Oles called up the mother of the 
of the girl who literally tragically died I, that, and tried so to cool. argue with her. She says Oof. this in her own video. Yeah. She tried to argue with that her, saying, so the awkward. reason I went so hard on Gabby is because your daughter was a victim. And guess Dude. what? She's friends with Jesse Smiles' rapist, and Jesse's a victim. Oh, Dog, God. If I'm the mother, I turn around and go, at least Jesse's alive. That's disgusting, dude. Are you? Fuck what are you, are you? Did you say that she, that Angelica reached out to the the sister? the mother? Yeah. And tried to argue why dude, she dude, went dude, so dude, the hard. Most, wait, the most awkward part of that video is that, is that Angelica saying the mom didn't want me to show screenshots, and then Gabby's video said the mom allows me to show screenshots. And it's like, oh, Angelica, Angelica, damn girl, you're getting buried. Oh, this is awkward. It's infuriating. I would be off your back in a minute if people could just come around and admit they got one aspect of this entire story wrong. Because yeah, then at least sucks. I'd have respect for you. Look, look, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, well, I, I, I don't saying, fully agree with... you with... don't respect me because of one thing that you disagreed with. No, I, I, do, I don't disrespect you because you can't take accountability on something you clearly got wrong. Well, do you have and any other, do you have any other examples besides I that don't one? need other examples. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need you to turn around and yes, admit, uh, "Hey, that's... this obvious thing I did wrong, I obviously did it wrong. It's not all of us. We didn't all make a mistake. I wait, made a mistake." But Nick, in that situation, I'm looking at this and my opinion is is that I don't think that you can overlook this uh, piece of the article that explains what happens in a situation when then you're it disingenuous. Had so much attention on it. It had so much attention on it. That's my opinion. Dude, I respect the fact that you rebuilt your channel after Primic, and I gave you a chance because I was Whoa. pretty skeptical of you, but that's a dog shit answer, dude. Well, why? Like, I don't, I don't get it. I'm sitting here telling you my opinion. I'm listening to your opinion. I accept that you think that people, like, oh, she didn't see it, and there's, there's no, you know, that's... There's nothing disrespectful about that video. What? Even if she did see it, there's nothing disrespectful about saying that you like her shirt. No, that in that context, no. There's not. There's no. There's no issue with uploading it, even if it's the worst case scenario. It's not fucking offensive. You're, you're not. That's not what happened. You do realize that she didn't just. Say, that's not what happened. There's like a whole bunch of other stuff that happened there. What Wait, else? Happened? So are we bring in a uh, uh, pre -con pre context to judge her on this. Yeah, that's all it is, because that's what, that's what he brought up in the very beginning over and over again. Yeah, I'm, Gabby okay. did X, Y, and Z wrong. Okay, but dude, this look. is Logan Paul kill, like, tased a dead rat all over again. Like, I right. get it, dude. Logan Paul had a body in the forest, and it was unbelievable. Yeah, that's and he's a bad. piece of shit. But Logan Paul tasing a dead rat doesn't fucking is, matter, dude. Is Logan Paul it's tasing the rat? It's stupid as fuck, bro. Who I'm sorry. Dead rat? Like, no I get it, dude. It's, 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 it's monetizable. People like that story. It was big. Everyone loved to talk about Logan Paul tasing a dead rat. Now, okay. Who okay. cares? So, yeah. Okay. Look, my, my thing is that, yeah, I, I, I get it. I, I think the, the channels went too hard for judging her on it. Like, I, I think she, she's gloating on it and, like, to an extent, like, you know, is a little excessive. But, you know, I, I, I get that ex expressive emotion. It would be it would be interesting to see what she fucking how she fucking would talk to these people because some of the things that she, you know and and you know Rebzo was saying earlier too is like yo Nick why don't you fucking talk to me like in private bro like because like the thing too was like with with Julia which you know everybody agrees she didn't even do anything really that harmful at all whatsoever like if you watch your video it's not even really about like, ready to it's glare, literally just, just like a passing opinion me. kind of thing I'm just kidding so, I actually don't hate Ready to Glare I think she's a really good creator yeah uh, thank yeah yeah she's great she's actually very like introspective and like you listen to her thoughts like damn yeah no this girl fucking went to school she's still going to school my only but, problem um, is she just covered that story it's just wrong like I, right. if I got a story wrong I'd have no fucking but, problem but it's, it's you not I like wrong, wrong. It's, it's like just I've a, owned up to tons of shit online it's an I don't know why piece. it's like it like, is. You don't have to like be like retract things, like, you know, when it's not like you're not making an objective. All right, then maybe speaking. I'll just reword it. Okay, maybe that's your opinion. Maybe if your opinion is that it's sure. like it's, maybe, it's really maybe, fucked up to the girl, then you're a fucking idiot. Opinions. How about that? Maybe you're policing opinions. Okay, then you're a fucking idiot. I'll just rechange my argument from you lied to okay. you're literally incapable Damn. of thinking. All right, I thought like. I'm, it's, 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 what do you want me to say, dude? I'm, like, I'm sorry. I, Most I, I, people I, other than you will come around and say, at least now, looking back on it, it's really not that offensive. And it's, it's actually not offensive at all. The fact that you can't move off of this shows your character. 
Like you're wait. trying to make my character wait, because I'm such a dick and I go behind we, your back, but this is your character, wait. dude. Yeah. I think you're, that's the issue. I think I think Rep is taking it more personally without realizing the actual point being argued. I mean, because Nick sees you in a different light than in the fact that like, you know, like yeah, he, he he can accept. I mean, I dude, even told her. I, I, I told made her too many like, edgy dude. jokes. I might have been mean to too many people. I might have pissed off somebody that some of these people in the chat really like. But at the end of the day, like, I'm not going to lie. And if I get something wrong, I'll tell you I did it wrong. You know? Like, yeah. I mean, that's that's all you can ask from a creator. You're not, you don't have to be perfect, Repzilla. You don't. Edwin, you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. What the fuck? I just I'm want near my there. I just want I'm people like, who are I'm around me to perfect. not make me look bad by doing. I'm pretty this. cool though, right? For a Mexican. Pretty cool. Yeah. I just Thank don't you. like. All right. If it, if you were anybody else, it's like. I I I, I could be mean to you. I can't be Please, mean. Please, Nick, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, Rep, you got you. <laughs> I can't do it. Like, you, Nick, I Rep, time. Rep, you can't, you can't. Nick is just a dude. He's just a, he's just a fat dude in New York, bro. Who cares? He's just a fucking. He's a fucking Spider-Man villain. He's the goon that gets beat up by Spider-Man. Who cares? Just go off on him. Is that right. real Ashley who just friended me? Because I thought I had you on Discord, and I'm hoping what? it's not Brit Bong. What? <laughs> what? I got a, I got a friend request from Ashley, and I didn't. I thought I had Ashley as a friend, so I'm a little nervous of who I just. Bro, accepted. don't, say I don't that accept name friend my request. Bro. I don't like want that ever, fucking curse on here. Dude, I don't I want have, that like, curse so on here. Many. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ! Don't bring him to this channel. You're the only one who doesn't have it, dude. Again, like it's. Dude, I'm just kind of sick of it, bro. It's kind of shitty. Um, I, I think Fisk. a lot of people. Are like, <laughs> dude, Nick is Wilson like, Fisk. I mean, dude, Remzilla is uh, is like eleven levels down from like. Angelic Oles, who I would argue is the worst person in this situation by like an astronomically high margin. Dude, I would, I would love to be talking to her. In fact, I invite her on my podcast. Dude, uh, yeah, I would if, love to know, have a nice conversation with Angelica. If she wasn't sleeping right now, actually, yeah, I, I didn't reach out to her, but I would be curious to reach out to her and be like, yo, what the fuck do you have to say to this? I mean, yeah. I, thought, I thought her video was just really interesting because she's like, she did, she did like kind of, you know, she brought up a lot of like, uh, well, you know, uh, Gabby Hanna's used victims in her past, so like yeah, I, it's literally I what about is the same shit. Like everything that these people hold others accountable for, they did in this situation, and they're trying to dodge it. Like, dude, my video <laughs> on fucking. Are you saying uh, that I, I'm doing? I'm doing that. You think I'm trying to dodge something? Is well, that I mean, what you when you it's, tweeted out that it's everybody's that like everybody's bad in this situation, right? absolutely, dude. Publicly about this stuff. Yeah, dude, I'm talking to you publicly because you're a public figure who criticizes other people online i don't need to tiptoe around I, honestly i would not give a shit if you did this to me actually to be honest uh this is how me bo blacks augie operate you watch our streams all the time you pretty much know that so i, I don't really i don't really care you know I, I i'm an open book dude the easiest way to not get exposed on youtube is to not do shady shit so i don't care if you call me out on anything because i know i'm in the right so the thing is, it's just like, I can't, it's, when you say, it's like you can't see, like, any other opinion or options but your own. Because it's, like, objectively like, you clear. Think, you think, like, you're right above everything else, no matter what. Yes. That's kind of Because it's whoa. extremely whoa. fucking kind of obvious. Fucked up, man. I mean, like, you cannot be like that in reality. Like you, I can, because all of the evidence backs up me. No, you, you, and you can. You can try, and you might you might get away with it on your 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 Twitter. And, right, right, and dude, you, then just you explain to me why I'm wrong. Can you just explain to me why I'm wrong? The thing is, is that you in this situation, no one is right or wrong because you. No, 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 there are objectively wrong people. That you are one of them. Then you are as well. Okay. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> All right, I gotta pee and get on a drink, PRB. Right. You don't any, to you going in a circle. Is there anything else you want to talk about, dude? Oh god. Dude, Edwin, the, the moderator is not allowed to go pee. What are you doing? Stop making him get shots. I don't know, dude. I, I, it's, it's really just, it, it's kind of sad. Um, again, like, not entirely on you. I, I think this is a community wide fuck up. And I feel like I, I, it's just. I feel like I don't want to be friends with anybody who can't see that this is fucked. Like I, I just I feel like I picked the wrong group of friends on YouTube. Mm. 
Um, I, I mean, a buddy of mine who I really like, and I have no problem with him doing this, like, we were going to make a video on T channels and stuff like that. He backed out. Uh, not because he doesn't agree, but like, because like, it's just too hot right now. And Nick, if I, I cuck to you it. and I cuck to all I these other people and like, wait, 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 one, more, one more thing, one more thing. I promise I'll let you go on. I just want to make this point yeah. is if I cuck to you and I pretend I like sacrifice my morals and I pretend Gabby did something wrong and pretend it's everyone's fault and pretend that like that video is offensive. Then I have to sit here at the end of the night and realize that there's an entire community of literal fucking slanderers who do no fucking research in that tea community. And that like, they're objectively never criticizable ever again because this is the this is literally clear cut and if you can't even get them to back down on this point there's no fucking point making videos on this website i guess i'm back back to peace the thing is is that, like i do want to understand where you're coming from like i, I want to understand it but it's like you're not even like able to like understand that you like, just because you feel so strongly and passionate Bitcoin about Bitcoin dipping. It doesn't mean it's like, what's the word? It's like, fuck. Uh, does it just, it doesn't mean you're right. It doesn't mean right, I'm right. right. True. I mean, all right, dude, I guess like, I guess I can concede on one point. Some people are gonna see the fact that like this video wasn't offensive. And that Gabby was slandered. Yes. And that Gabby's emotions make sense. And then there's, other people are just wrong. And I understand that. There's got to be both sides. Gabby needs somebody like you. Every, you know, that's. But I don't. I, I don't want to defend Gabby Never because Gabby, Gabby is also objectively bad. Like I just want people to look at this one situation where it's extremely clear that like X, Y, and Z happened that was objectively wrong, and that like this is why we've gotten seven degrees of separation where the mother has to publicly defend Gabby on Twitter, and fucking retards are going around saying that like the mother has been manipulated He's because in, the, in all these streams and all these videos, everyone like Gabby's so hour. stupid. Gabby's so dumb. Gabby's Gabby's the dumbest person alive. Also, she's manipulative. She's controlling everything. She's got the whole community on strings because they're not even f***ing, like, remotely um, uh, consistent on their tag. I need a shot. Bitcoin's on sale. Are we done here? What? Wait, okay. So, I, I, how, are you, how are you boys feeling? I... I I got one more vent piece, but go get it. You got it's, it. Floor's yours. I can be the one to love. Okay, cool. Everything's good. My coins are good. I don't. I don't know if I should. I don't, no, please, 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 please. You have my consent. Let's go. My consent, bro. Okay. So it's All like right. for me, it's like it feels so personal. Okay. Because you you you're coming at me like this. Right. When I know you said that's what you do, but the DMs are open. And, and many times in the past, like I come to you, I talk to you about talk to you about situations. I've tried to help you out in situations and I've helped you to the best of my ability to work out different types of scenarios. But when it's on the shoes on the other foot, you don't afford me that same type of respect. Like you you go completely to public to Twitter and it's just like, dude, like my DMs are open. Like if you like you could have come to me personally and said, hey, man, this take you had on Gabby Hanna, it was like up like this, that. And then I would have been like, oh, what, what is it? Yeah, that? no, honestly, dude, that's Nick. They, they just impulsively tweets is what I'm saying. It, you know, at, the, at the end of the day, it's not going to bother anything. It's just like, I'm just trying to be real with you, like one on one. And your stands are in chat and they're calling me a woman because I'm showing my emotions. I'm the type of person where my I do wear my heart on my sleeve. And that, that's just who I, I am. That's who I've always been. And you yeah. shouldn't be you shouldn't be um, criticized about that. I, I disavow that. I think you can be emotional. Well, wait, wait, wait. He didn't say that. What? I'm just like speaking how I feel. Mm -hmm. Like if if your ass would have came to me and you said how you felt, I would have been much more understanding. But you you come you come to me publicly like that, and it's just like, why? Why would you do this to me when I oh. would like every other time I've came to you, you know, privately? I just don't understand it. I even tried to go to Tommy the first time privately to talk to him about this shit, and he said, nope, this is content. And I'm like, god damn, I can't trust these motherfuckers at all. Oh. <laughs> like, so why? 
Walk right, away. Am I in? Yeah, go ahead. I'm. Are you sure you don't want to say anything about the situation before? Like, this is like your outro. So, like, do you want to say anything about Gabby? Okay, like, so I, I'm wait, not so being just a dick. Be clear, like, you didn't say anything about Gabby. So, you want just to, like, to be clear? Well, just to be clear, Rebzilla's taking it personally. Gabby, uh, uh, Nick all right, is trying so we're to make off it, of yeah, Gabby, and now we're on personal drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, Nick is making Nick, like, stand it's, Gabby. It's, Oh, thank you. Okay, I just want to be. I just want to let the record show that you used your op- your outro statement to not talk about what we're talking about. But all right, so my Wait, biggest wait. issue with you, I right, be honest, um, I was skeptical when I first met you, and I was totally cool with you. We let you on. We brought you on multiple live streams. You know exactly how our community works. Uh, you, you've come around and hung out with us when we've had big streams and stuff like that, and small streams. I appreciate everything you've done for the channel and stuff like that. Uh, and, and I've had reserved judgment because I, I know some shit, obviously. And uh, and I think to be honest, for the most part, I thought yeah, you were. Uh, yeah. I thought you were a good, outstanding. I, I thought you were like. I, I thought you changed for the better after the whole situation with Primic. Now, based off of this entire situation, I got bad vibes when I saw you made a absolutely objectively bad video that's literally like on par with some of these ridiculous videos that were made about Gabby. This is a public video you made, and I reserve the right to publicly criticize it when it's literally the topic of conversation that I'm talking about. And I'm sorry if you think that I should have taken it to your DMs, but even if I took it to your DMs, I can fucking promise you I was going to talk about it because it was that bad. Okay? Just being clear with you. Now, after having this conversation with you, watching you dodge every fucking question, every fucking that I didn't take the entire fucking night, and not be able to take any accountability for the situation at all, I realized that I was right for tweeting it out the way that I tweeted it out. I do not feel bad at all. I, I do not care. Uh, I don't have a, pr- a personal problem with you, no matter how much you want to drag that up. I have one like thing that I have, and it's me trying to be objectively true when I make statements and stuff like that. And me telling the truth means more to me than your feelings. So I'm really sorry that this hurt you on a personal level. I didn't mean to, but I don't think me being cool with you on a few live streams is the same as like, me having to go and not criticize you publicly. I don't think you should put that on me. I, I don't think that's entirely fair. And, and I, I think that it's not above criticism publicly. To I, just I, I be think cool that I, I definitely didn't uh, say that anything was above criticism. You can criticize me all you want. And you're apparently saying, I can't. You're, no, you can do that. That's fine. Like, but you're saying I'm dodging accountability. If yes. You, in what way? You tweeted out, this is everyone's fault. Uh, everyone's wrong in the situation. No, you Aren't guys are wrong in the situation. Gabby is not wrong in this situation. You know, like, dude, right now at this point, everybody that is wrong in the situation, we're wrong for like even trying to bring it up. Like, it's not right. It adds to the whole situation. Well, I mean, I personally got to thank you for saying that you guys are all being pieces of shit. So I don't know what you're talking well, about. You're just, well, you're just a part of it, though. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she'll be mad at me after this stream, but she Ooh, wasn't when I called everybody that, out. Wait, okay, okay. From what I'm getting here is that I don't think I don't I don't think Rep is necessarily disagreeing that he was wrong as much as he's taking it more personally because it's Nick you know he someone he valued. Am I getting this wrong, dude? I, I'm I'm I think this conversation's over, so I'm gonna end this right here. Um, the the drama channels didn't give a fuck about the Bianca Devins family when they called out. Uh, Gabby Hanna for views, attention, money, and all this stuff off a ridiculous allegation, okay? The drama channels didn't give a fuck about Bianca Devins or her family when the mother made a video to apologize. In fact, they all made videos talking about, most of them made videos talking about how, like, Gabby apologized, and that's it. They left all that other shit out. The Bianca Devins family didn't give a fuck. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The uh, drama channels didn't give a fuck about the Bianca Devins family when all that shit happened when Gabby made the video uh, uh, talking that people should give apologies and stuff. And by the way, the mother shouldn't have to request an apology apology for you to feel bad uh it's i know that goes without saying if the mother didn't accept apology you probably should just feel bad for like doing it and you should probably just want to make an apology but regardless and then all of a sudden it went ready to glare it became a huge thing about like you don't respect the family you you don't leave this whole dude like look the family came out with in with their video talking about this stuff before my videos you understand when the so family- wait, 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 are you saying that the Bianca Devins family video that they made defending Gabby predates your video? No, it was no, after. No, no, he's saying it came okay, after. Okay, okay. Yeah, after. okay. And then First, you made a video on that video, right? But did you update Or at least the, or the apology. Yes. Or did, did, okay. Well, and, you updated that, you yeah, made right, a video yeah. on the statement we're from the family? In that video, I said Gabby Hanna did a good thing regardless of what anybody thinks. Wait, is there a video on the update? Yes, and if you listen to it, I'm like, Gabby Hanna did a good thing. 
She did a good thing. Dude, I'm so glad she did that after that whole murder article fiasco video is still on your channel. But regardless, I, I mean, we can talk about this all that all night long. I don't want to go back in a circle. We already established this. Tommy Stream, you gave me suggestions. Change the title, do this and that, and I did Yeah, well, that. on Tommy's stream, you, like, took accountability, and you kind of, like, rescinded that. So, like, I don't care about the suggestions anymore. I think that you should stop making I videos. did not rescind anything at all. I stand by everything I said. You went on Twitter and fucking said that, like, it's everybody's fault. Everybody's wrong in this situation. They're not. It's just you. Back what I said in Tommy's stream, that's completely different. Okay, dude. Uh, again, like, uh, we can go back in circles all you want. My point is... I, like, none of these people gave a fuck about the family until it was convenient to, and then all of a sudden, everybody on Twitter is I now saying that. I care. I give all a right, fuck. Well, dude, I promise. Uh, dude, you know, Pinky swear, I, I, you know, I believe you, dude. All right, are we done? Can I go now? I mean, yeah. I mean, do we have any, any other points in the uh, uh, rep, do you think? Uh, I just think Nick needs to understand that his opinion is not the only one that counts. And not everybody's gonna agree with him. But thank God I'm here to give it, because no one else has the balls. Okay, 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 okay. At the end of the day, though, okay, at the end of the day, I think the ultimate thing is that this shouldn't have been blown up as much as it should have, right? I think that's an uh, all around agreeable thing, am I right? I agree with that, yeah. Wait, is Nick, my, my, wow, he just fucking dipped, of course. I just wish so, he wouldn't act like that. I mean, okay, that that is his overlying point. So, uh, I'm just saying, I, like, I, have a constructive I, conversation with somebody that will not let you talk that just keeps well, on I'm not, I'm not sure if that's what he was missing from you saying I feel like he was wanting you to say that I'm not sure if he was missing something else or what he said, like I'm saying it's just the most immature thing I've ever seen in my life like literally I came on to argue with Edwin because Edwin was saying some stuff I disagreed with and um well this conversation happened. This obviously wasn't my intention, was to go in and argue with Rebzilla. And you could base this off the fact that I joined Tommy's stream, and I was extremely nice to Rebzilla when I was there. On top of that, not only was I extremely nice to him there, I didn't interject when Tommy and him Why were fighting, really. Fought? I was, I pretty much Rebzilla stayed out of it. Angela Goals and Petty Page keep pouring salt in their own tea. Like, he wrote me, I, like, I don't think I dread, maybe I'm wrong, like, again, I, I could be wrong about this. I think I didn't drag Rebzilla. I, I don't think fought. I did until like Rebzilla now. as a woman. And then on Twitter yesterday, after he like came out and said that objectively ridiculous shit. I mean, we showed him on our stream, but I think Keemstar was shitting on him, and I think I defend. I, I can go back and look, but I'm pretty sure I wasn't that harsh on him there. I think we just said his video was bad, and I think I tried to argue in his favor, but I'm not entirely sure. Dude, I don't care if Repzilla reports on. A fucking puppy getting found, okay? I don't care if Repzilla reports on the next flavor of five gum, okay? I don't fucking believe a word out of this motherfucker's mouth. This guy is a slimy little shit. I don't- I, dude, dude, this guy could fucking report the results to the Olympics that he read inside of ESPN. Easily that shit fuck. does not mean this anything to me. Fucking Edwin, you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Look at this out I'm delivering. It's on a fucking silver platter, dude. Just take it. Just take it. Dude, I said, you don't have to be perfect. I'm not perfect. Edwin's not perfect. Just all we have to do is admit when we're wrong. And his response is, if you were anyone else, I'd be mean to you. Dude, I do not give a fuck, bro. If this guy is reporting for the elementary school newspaper. That shit is fake news. Stay the fuck away from it. This guy has no fucking morals. I don't care how hard he walks this back. I don't care how much he apologizes in the future. This fucking guy deserved every fucking thing that's ever been said about him. That, that's, that's no lie, no scam. This is not a good person. I'll call my, I'll call my, uh, my good friend Edwin. We're good friends. We've talked on Discord before. He's actually my Edwin, right? Well, we were good we, right, dude. We've talked on Discord before. We're best friends. Wait! Oh shit! Right? I, oh, you have what? a tattoo of me, right? Because because we're such good friends. Well, yeah, we got each other's initials. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we got to write. Yep. I actually. I mean, I tattoo. hope we did. I have a tattoo. That wasn't just actually, a really, I have a tattoo of the letter E on my foot. That must be for Edwin. Wait! Whoa! Nice. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I got it before okay, also, I knew you, but look, dude, you okay? Look, guys. You did hand it to him, and I, even right there, I was like, "All right, he doesn't want to take it." So, do you want to? Fuck? There was like two two roads in this. There was either either take the L or rage at at Nick. So he didn't take the, the L. Yeah, I mean, you know, he you handed it. I don't it, think he, he really raged at me either. Right, right. So then I literally gave him the opportunity. I said, "Okay, okay, rep, 
you know, he just, he just, he just. What, fucking what about the third him. option? What about the third option? Conceding? He could have just conceding at any point. He could have just conceded and said, you know what? Yeah, yeah I, I got that wrong. Oh I'll yeah, I got, yeah, that is okay. You're, you're fair, 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 fair. I'm just like, and <laughs> but, like, it's just like, it's, it's bonkers, dude. It's fucking bonk. I, I don't trust this guy as far as I can throw him. You know, at the time, I was like, yo, Nick, what the fuck? That was a pussy ass move when he did that thing. You know? It, it's, yeah, dude. I tell you right I, now, I do it again. I, and that's why I said oh, yeah, on Twitter, I go, you should watch your ass, dude. Because if you ever go yeah, around and, and you report some like absolutely crazy shit, I'm absolutely going to talk about it on Twitter because we're drama YouTubers. We're not like the, <laughs> the beacon of morality, Edwin. Uh, yeah. We're, we're not the beacon of morality, Edwin. I'm not starting today. Uh, the beacon of objectivity. Yeah, it's, it's not. I'm, it's, it's, <laughs> I point things out that are obvious that other people lie about. So here we are. Uh, I, again, I, I, I don't know. We we I don't think you saw that clip last night, or I think it was on your stream. Like, can you? I don't know. Go, going back to what I said, what I showed before with the uh, Pink Panther section. Do you understand why Gabby might have thought the family wanted an apology? Do you understand why that might actually be a pretty fucking rational thing that Gabby thought? Me? Yeah, you know, based off the fact that the family came out right and specifically said like you should be mad at these specific people for doing this specific thing. Like you don't, yeah. yeah I, I mean, people are saying that Gabby made that up out of thin air. I just want to know if that's a rational well, thought. Not, I mean, it's it's, dude. You know, it's written in stone there. Like this isn't something to pursue. If if I had covered this, I wouldn't continue pursuing this whatsoever because it's like, dude, the family. Like it doesn't matter. The family has made their their choice. Yeah. You know. It's. Uh, but wait, dude. Nick Schneider says that Gabby wrote the script for them, and that like this is a huge. A manipulation play and that I, like I, I refuse to believe this i refuse I, to but dude he's the viewer's voice that's what the viewers are thinking unironically it probably is but uh yeah dude it's the viewer's voice who's saying this and i know it's choice right what is it, is it voice or choice viewers, voice, I viewers I voice slimy weasley fuck. oh i thought it was your nick choice. since oh, they right, right. have tats of an e on their foot after this steam lmao <laughs> People are starting to understand more and more when I'm getting progressively angrier about this situation as days go by and everyone still acts like a pussy. This voice. Like, it's just every single day. I don't know. I, I have to make a video on it. Dude, I am I guess, dude, I, I'll concede. I might get ratioed, bro. I might I might get ratioed on YouTube.com. I would be surprised if you didn't make a video at this point, to be honest. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm going to get ratioed on Twitter.com, on YouTube.com, dude. <laughs> I'm going to get ratioed. What, what, what am I going to do, bro? They're going to stop <sighs> me, dude. They're going to ratio me. It's all over after that, you know? Let them try now. I'm going to have a 70% like ratio, dude. I, it's all over. Like, I had a career lined up, dude. I have to give my degree back from my college. Like, my master's degree, it has to go back. Like, the future is over, dude. I have to literally shut my channel down and apply to McDonald's. You haven't made um, the video yet, you know? Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe it'll be good. I don't know. Maybe you'll like it. I'm not the only one that's making a video. All right. You um, hear that, guys? I'm going to look forward so, to it. It's it just, over. yeah, it's, I don't know. I mean, like, is there? Do you do you know any gray area? Can I ask you the question that I tried to ask Rapzilla? Where's the gray uh, area? Is, what was the context of the gray area? What? Okay, what did Gabby do wrong? Um, to begin with, the initial, or... like, all right, well, let's do initially, and then let's do in the middle when the video was made, the new one in the new series, and then at the end, let's let's okay. let's just go from each part. Do you think Gabby See, did it, anything wrong in the first do part? Wrong. I don't know that I would say did wrong would be the phrase because I think she's she's apparently quite clumsy. And you know, it gets on people's nerves. So, but I don't think that's an, a wrong action. That's just like you know, she made a mistake. Maybe yeah, you could argue that. Um, but then, in, in hindsight, others made even bigger mistakes. By the way, you know what's actually the funniest thing ever that I, I, I do? There, all right. So I'm I'm torn. When I make my video, I don't know if I'm going to say the girl's name. Um, because again, like apparently it's okay. Uh, but I on my channel I have a policy where I usually don't. But the thing is, right. Um, I don't know if you've seen this. Angelic Oles did a video on the like the whole situation with Bianca Devins and like Gabby, right? And uh -huh. she went to censor the photo and she missed. Yeah. So for like seven uninterrupted seconds or something, you could see her, the entire article, and everything about her. And then like mm. it blurs for one second at the end and switches slides. Like she had no fucking idea how to use the blur feature. I just I found that absolutely hilarious for somebody who's like claiming Bianca Anybody not ready my guys up. Yeah, dude, she is so incompetent. It's not even funny. I don't know. So in the very beginning, would you say there's something objectively... Like, did this need to be a big drama story initially? What would you say? Nah, dude. Nah, I've never... Did this need a video? I've avoided, huh? Did this need a... Like, not, maybe not a big drama story. Did this need a video? I, I know. I, not in my opinion. I don't cover this kind of stuff. I think it's all kind of like, really? Like, the entire topic is she took inspo for e-girl from somebody that, you know, was murdered. Like, and she didn't notice that part. But even still, she didn't make a... She did she, 
she, does she need to make a mention? Like, you know, if someone takes inspiration from Marilyn Monroe, do they need to make a mention of... I, I don't know. I don't... Look, that's probably a bad metaphor. Don't let me fucking trap myself here. All right. Well, all I'm going to say is you've so far done better than Repzilla. You've at least admitted on the front... And again, like, you didn't make the video, so it's not really that big of a deal that you said it. But, like, you admitted that, that, that there was nothing wrong in the very beginning of this. So I have to give you some credit. Like, oh, you, you, some credit. You, are, you are at least a step above Repzilla. So let's move on <laughs> to the next part. What is there anything wrong with Gabby being able to respond to this allegation? No. So do you think I mean, that like other than like I, I guess the one criticism that I see a lot of people making is tone of voice. Do you have any other criticisms for the way she well, handled? Okay, I, I was critical last night. If I remember my, my drunkenness, that um, mm -hmm. she waited like I'm not holding a whole you to year. your opinions. On, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. But. Otherwise, I, I think she's perfectly allowed. I mean, and, and you know, it's just fine to wait a year, but I don't think she ever brought attention to the the video her, herself, to the so uh, family video. The reason, actually, no, she did. She made the apology. The apology but happened after the family video. It happened after the family's video? Yes. And she linked it, though? Oh, wait, no, I'm so sorry. No, she made the apology, then the family made the video. You know what? I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, so I mean, I feel like she never brought attention to it. So I think she was like hiding a secret weapon in all this time. Well, because I remember she donated she had... in 2020 to the fund. That's good. Like that, that all the donations and stuff happened in 2020. Yeah. So uh, like, like yeah. part of me definitely thinks that she was holding the secret weapon like for a while. She just didn't know how to execute it until now, you know. But but other, I mean, that's not even the biggest criticism if you really think well, about if, it. Well, if if they lie, how is it a secret weapon? If like someone lied about you, I, I mean, you could argue no. that she's holding a secret weapon. I could turn it around and say, well, the reason that she blurred Bianca and didn't really address the criticism until that video is because she wasn't trying to draw more attention to the family. Mm -hmm. Like initially, like she blo like she blurs Bianca. Then the drama channels say like she's trying to dodge accountability, and then she comes out and issues an apology, going, "No, I'm not trying to dodge accountability. I just like don't want to drag more attention to this girl, which you're doing." And then the family comes out and agrees. So I feel like her defense for that would be that like she was just trying to not bring any more attention to the family, who now had to make like a drama video. Like, do you know, how awkward that must have been. Yeah. That's very awkward. I mean, and especially because, like, yeah, you don't want this person to be known for this. This, like, it's such a strange secondhand thing, you know. And this could happen a billion different ways, right? And you'd never expect that a family would make a video like that's such a weird, like, right? That's such a yeah, like, dude. A weird turn for this story. They literally made the family defend Gabby Hanna. Like that alone. Come on, guys. Cheese and rice. T channels. <laughs> that's like, like it's just. I don't, I don't, and like she, the family's been nice to everybody who's reached out. Uh, I guess with the exception of Angelica, but I feel like it seemed like Angelica was trying to use them more than anything. But when we're talking about like ready to glare, that was a nice interaction and stuff like that. So it's not like they're just biased to one person or anything like that. Like it, it it's not like Gabby's pulling any strings here. I don't know. I, I, I still struggle to see like if there's any issues in that portion of it. Do you think there's any portion like any issues with like her last video? Because I thought her last video was the best. Um, the the one where she yells at Angelica Olds? The one where she drops all the receipts on Angelica and makes her look like a fucking idiot. And does it in um, such a snarky bitch way that was totally yeah, deserved. I, I think that was hilarious, uh, but it was kind of out there. I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to rewatch it because I remember laughing about it. <laughs> dude i dude but, okay. the thing is like all these t channels get mad about tone of voice bro yeah tone of voice dude if that was me shitting on these people bro i would be fucking dude we would literally be playing music in the call laughing hysterically at them dude also i gotta say i like i'm so detached from this like i think a lot of this is kind of like funny because it's so ridiculous and like yeah like everybody's so serious about it you Slimy, know like geez, fuck. Okay, so, literally out, Nick. gabby hannah is hilarious in her reaction so that means she's not always right too. but these drama channels taking everything so personally when they could just take it out or if or if they're not in a place to like julia then you know good for her anyways you know and that's is it there's a um, whole lot of oh, yeah, and also, it's like did you know that gabby hannah made a video about a girl who passed away when she was in high school or something like, uh, and then she uploaded this like six years ago and so like all right can somebody like i don't know explain to me how that contributes to this situation and at all okay at also the discussion I think I forgot to mention this last night, but apparently in her original video, she said that people made a video about her cancel culture tweet. Like she made a tweet about cancel culture and they made a whole video about that because they're like, you're comparing yourself to Britney. I'm like, dude, that's what cringes me out about people making videos about Gabby Hanna, you know? 
Oh, dude, that's that's real. I know that's real. I remember when that happened. I think we covered it on After Hours. So basically, no, it's actually not the. I don't know if it's the YouTuber. Oh, it is the YouTuber's fault. But the person who wrote the article clipped it out of context. I think in the byline. Wait, there's an article too. Some okay. So she did like an interview where she's like, "Cancel culture is really bad." Have you seen what happened to Britney Spears? And like, I don't know if yeah. it was the person who like wrote the line that went on Twitter that everyone read, or it was the drama channels themselves where they're like, "Gabby Hanna compares herself to Britney Spears." Cancel yeah. culture, cancel culture. Like, it's literally just oh, something that came up in the conversation. Well, she also did have a tweet that said, like, look what ha- just look what happened to Britney Spears. And the drama channels were like, you compare yourself to Britney Spears? But it's like, she, she just she can't breathe sometimes. Like, guys, get her when you can get her. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, you can't, you literally can't make a take about cancel culture without people just, like, trying to tie you to every single word you say. And, and that must be your experience. Like, you can't just bring up an example. Like, when I brought up Logan Paul's dead rat, I'm actually the dead rat that Logan Paul tased. Did you know You that? are the dead rat. I'm the dead <laughs> rat, dude. Yeah. You were tased. Dude, Keemstar is the living rat. I'm the dead one. Oh, my God. It's because I can't upload because I'm too lazy. Plan it's every fu- it's every story, dude. It's every story. And again, like I, sa- I said in the stream, like unprompted, because Repzilla didn't even get to the point where he started questioning me. He just spurred out immediately. But it was like, I do think like, here's an example. That situation on Discord where she's like threatening to sue children, probably a pretty shitty thing to do, right? It's objectively bad, right? Mm-hmm. I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I mean, I-, I guess you could probably talk your way out of it. I don't really know myself. I'm willing to hear if she has like a I mean, I, for it. I heard about that. It doesn't sound good no matter how you spin yeah, it. If there's so, any truth to it, ooh. Yeah, so I I'm, I'm think there's pretty legitimate criticisms that can be levied about Jesse Smiles. Um, like, not, not towards Jesse, but about the whole situation with Jesse, right? But, like, I don't care that uh, she allegedly compared herself to Britney Spears. Uh, just, like, I don't really care about this situation. I mean, I do care about this situation because people are willingly lying and using a dead person for views. But, like, I mean, I wouldn't care about the situation if it was, like, a big story that wasn't pe- like i don't know if, if this was like a one and done where some people just apologize i'd probably never talk about it but it's not it's actually just a story where a bunch of people are showcasing that they don't have any morals and they're willing to lie to ruin somebody Fuck, well, dude and i thought the civil war on commentary was gonna be with elvis the alien all right let's go let's i go. wish it was dude i'm sure bionic pig would have this take i want him to talk about it wouldn't that be uh. great dude if bionic pig opens his mouth and i could just make the whole video about him instead Oh, that'd be great. I know he has this take because he's a fucking moron. That'd be great, dude. Oh boy. But I can't. All right. I can't say it. Apologize, to Edwin, right now. Vega made a comment. I am like shaking that. and crying. Edwin, a sexist, astonished face. <laughs> what? <laughs> Psych draws. Edwin's audience was calling Nick all kinds of shit last night. Don't worry, I probably have just as many slurs for them. <laughs> all right, start saying them. <laughs> Dude, I gotta start telling everybody about my trauma. Like, Jesus. I've been fat for years. When do I get to collect my trauma check? Yeah. Remember when Destiny fucking ass raped Nick? Yeah, dude. Oh my don't talk dude, I that. can't believe he fucking, like, avoided my trauma Wait. of being fat. How dare he beat me in a debate? Doesn't he know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm considerate of him. How Dude, I need trauma to fit in with the tea community. I have to have a thing that I can bring up at all times to let everybody know. Yeah. Repzilla said some really fucking crazy thing to Tommy that made him like go ballistic. It was something like you're saying like you don't care about my trauma or something like that. Yeah, because me and Nick were supposed to be homies, and it... you weren't that tight with him. It, I wasn't, and the fact that he keeps fucking saying that makes me think that like yeah, yeah never that, that follow was supposed to bomb me a lifetime of bullshit. like why do you think i'm so fucking doomer on like internet friends like when people say shit like this like yeah. i'm sorry repzilla that me being friends with you doesn't fucking alienate the fact that you fucking used a fucking dead girl okay bro it, it's, it's unfortunate it's what happened like that literally happened i don't the care i don't have care like any a, car a, a, accidents i don't care how many friendships are broken like i'm just gonna call it out because it's what i fucking do like yeah. jesus Commentators have this like blue coat. Like, the cops have the blue wall of silence or the blue coat of silence. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. We're not like fucking. We're not like uh, in the mafia. In the hood with you fucking know? snitching with police. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I don't fucking care, dude. Like you're not my fucking problem. I'm not your fucking like you keeper. Know. I'm not like the the holder of the <laughs> Redzilla where I fucking feed him and bring him around and give him content and then fucking send him off on his merry way and protect him if so, if the fucking part you know, of him. You know, If we were in the street. You'd be a snitch, and snitches get stitches. <laughs> and I'm actually yeah. upset with Nick because me and Nick were supposed to be homies. Oh, really? It, he only you know he only said it in this context like one thing's uh, the fans hate they hate backstabbing friends absolutely fucking makes them sick. 
right? So he's like, we're supposed to be homies. So that makes it sound like it's just a fucking cruel backstab. I, I, my policy is this. If you fuck up bad, let's say Matt fucks up, you know, maybe I'll give a day or two off, but I'm not going to like make a video on him. Like I, right. I, I always, the crowd's probably a better example. I mean, there were some things he really did wrong. You know, um, not what they were accusing him of, but I mean, there's some things there that was definitely uh, worth criticism. And I was just like, I'm withdrawing on this one. Think what you want. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to be that guy. It's, it's like, look, Nick's not talking about somebody fucks up and don't look out for your friend. Nick's talking about if you make a bad point and you can't fucking defend it, you can't fucking, Hey, we're homies, boy. You know, we're, we're homies. We're supposed to be homies guy. No, this is just a Why point. Why didn't Brabzilla turn around and go, hey, Nick, how dare you not, like, stand by John That's Swan, a lot even of money, though he's wrong? I guess, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't he put his neck out I, for John Swan? Well, I'm just wondering. Got, you broke into this community. Like, You've literally broken this community, exposing the NCO and Keemstar by recording them. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? If there's one thing that you and me have proved Keemstar 100% wrong, is this infamous line. Keep doing that. No one's going to trust you. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> well, you they, know what? Uh, don't why he's wrong. Keep right. making good content. They're going to have to fucking trust you. Because yeah, the cloud go. goes one way, bro. There you go. I get it. Uh, their whole standpoint on it and everything. Uh, you want to say it was a debate, even though it wasn't a setup thing. That's fine. I don't really give a shit. Like, uh, if you want to say you, you beat somebody with a brain injury in a debate and you... I'm a retard! Because <laughs> I get hit by a car? It's like the opposite of what people have been getting on my ass. Look at her face! Look at Patty's face! Or Patty, I'm sorry! <laughs> you, you beat somebody with a brain injury in a debate, and you, you want to get props on that, more power to you. You, you did good, okay? <laughs> uh, but, like, the truth is it is... Jesus Christmas. That's epic. More power to you. You, you did good, okay? Uh, but, like, the truth is... You pick it all. Everything, everything is about this. He's not my homie. He's standing in the back. He picked on me because I have a disability. Is is uh, I considered Nick a friend and yeah, exactly. This I'm is all fucking. He's he's full of shit. He's not sorry. He ain't sorry at all. I consider Nick a friend. He stabbed me in the back. Yeah. Repzilla said some really fucking crazy thing to Tommy that made him like go ballistic. It was something like you're saying like you don't care about my trauma or something like that. Like I don't even know Edwin. Like I, Edwin does like does Repzilla have trauma? What the fuck is he talking about? I mean, don't answer that. But like I didn't know. Ed I didn't even know he had trauma. Uh, I, trauma I, alert! Somebody needs to take Keemstar's show, call it trauma. Oh, alert, and well, talk the, about the T community is the trauma community now. <laughs> They're just like well, literally professional victims. Somebody needs to make a video on everybody's trauma, so I'm aware of who has what. Yeah, so right. Yeah, an archive. Back. Yeah, it's like literally, yeah, I mean. like it's like you know, like the victim card, but like actually carry it around so people can actually see it. If we're actually yeah, literally. You know, how people put like their sexual preference in their bio. Can you like just put every awful thing that's happened to you so I know? Dude, I like I literally, dude. I need people to start turning around for me and just being like, "Holy shit! Did you just tell Nick to shut up? Did you know he's fat? That's actually super fucked up that you did that." Slimy, weasley, because that's how it is these days. Just dude. pull the fat card can be used like the race card. Yes, I can't literally. Wait. I gotta pull the fat card, dude. I'll get it. I'll laminate my fat card and I'll bring it around at VidCon and show it to people at the bars. Seriously, and they'll sleep with me. Struggling. I didn't know you were struggling with your weight for years. Jeez, I thought it was a more recent thing. I'm sorry, bro. Dude, yeah, I know. It's been like extremely traumatic since I was one years old. One? <laughs> You've been a fat fuck that I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, yeah, dude, I can't. What were they feeding you? <laughs> Um, Repzilla's lies. That's how I got so fat. <laughs> Extra carbohydrates. Dude, literally, like, I don't know if I can joke about this, but Ethan Klein's child literally consumed its two brothers in the womb. <laughs> like, Ethan said it. Yeah. He said the doctor said he had a really powerful baby. I didn't he know he was having do that. He thought he was having triplets, but he, like, merged with them. Wait, hold on. Whoa. Morally, how does that work? Does that mean, like, the Morally. other two, like, died? I, I, I don't, don't, I don't know. Like, dude, this is, like, really deep. I have no idea, but he's like, they said he had a really powerful baby, and it just consumed the other babies. Because, like, th that's what I was, I remember when he said on a podcast, and I didn't make any comments about it, but I was wondering in my head when he said what that. What does that even like, mean? Yeah. Is, did that, like, kill the other two? Like, did they used to be, like, like, they had, like, consciences and lives and shit. Channels should and have souls. I know Nick doesn't believe in that, but, like, like did they have that? Like, Sounds like something he'd be know. down to collect. Dude, Bo Blacks needs to talk about the powerful baby he wants in. Super Saiyan baby in the womb. Super Is the Saiyan. baby, like, morally murder a murder? Like, does the moral weight attach to the baby? Is that something they have to, like live with for the rest of their lives well good thing bobox is coming here to balance uh, off morality number one person i know as an expert 
on children. <laughs> Boba. <laughs> oh god, dude. <laughs> Yeah, Bobox knows all about kids. Wait a minute, Take oh, it away, Doodles buddy. answer me. Hold on. Yeah, they don't call him the Child Archive for nothing. I mean, the Drama Archive. What the f- <laughs> Wow, Bobox, get in here, dude. You're getting fucking shot up, dude. <laughs> but white boy, you're getting shot up Wait, like a white boy. shot. How is Bobox not in here yet? You slimy, weasley fuck. Theodore is the omen. Edwin only doesn't like Common Cop because he's a libtard and he hates the cops. What the fuck? What do you think he's running? Yeah, wait, you think he's running riot? Here is why Bill Cosby is now out of prison. Slimy Weasley fuck. He's When's a... Clowns J stay on video coming I out? I don't know. But wait, dude, all these Tommy clips are so nuclear. Like, <laughs> what do you think? Here's what yeah. Bill Cosby. What? <laughs> Here is why Bill Cosby is now out of prison. Okay. I have to be honest, I've been doing this for years, but I had no idea how far this Gabby Hanna hole went. And I had no idea how far her hole, a deeper hole went. What the fuck? What's funny is, is whenever you're in hot water or you're hurting about something, I reach out. Dude, when the fuck have I ever been hurting about something and I really need to talk to Repzilla? What is this hypothetical that he's talking about? I might be able to go back through my DMs. Like, I... Is it because, like, one time he tweeted in defense of me when Shiloh came after me? Did he even do that? When, like, the entire community did the same thing? Am I in debt to the entire community? Like, where are these long talks in the middle of the night that I shared with Repzilla? Dude, I'm barely... Th this Dude, calling this guy my friend is probably an overstatement. I've been on a few live streams with this guy. I don't think I've ever even been in a private call with him. Where the fuck do you come off trying to appeal to my emotions, my dude? Where does this even come from? Dude, I think people use me so I don't criticize them. I'm really starting to think this is the case. Because Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Where is this, like, situation? Maybe I'm wrong, dude. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we we had a long walk on the beach together where he opened up about all his emotions and told me the deepest fucking parts of his soul. Maybe I'm just forgetting that. Maybe I'm a bad friend. But I don't fucking remember being friends with you to you in dms and i talk to you about those things but you don't okay but when i'm in hot water i didn't do something as stupid as this oh shit yeah like dude hot water when's the last time i ever made a video fucking like and even remotely as bad as this when's the last time i ever said anything as bad like it's, i don't know dude i i don't know a single example and just to be clear, I don't have a problem with the true crime channels or anybody co covering the story. It's a fact of life. It's a very popular genre, and it's on everything from Netflix to uh, YouTube about people making stories just like this. But I don't know how you could morally be against having, like, Gabby accidentally say, nice shirt to somebody, and then also simultaneously cover this girl's death as a news story. Like, I feel like one of those is inherently more disrespectful than the other. Neither of them are disrespectful, in my opinion, but, like, from Repzilla's standpoint, that's pretty fucking hypocritical. I don't know. Repzilla doesn't wish to take accountability for anything unless do the same. Unless the other T channels start he want and it's because they all think if they plant their feet hard enough as a unit, none of them have to admit they are wrong. Oh, dude, I guarantee fucking see it, bro. Fuck. Did you DM representatives Just, before you talked about M rolling on the floor laughing? I've explained <laughs> it to you. So, basically, let me tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to make my video. Uh, it's either going to get, like, ratioed by a bunch of divorced mothers or whatever, and I'm just going to be pissed off about it. Or it's going to do surprisingly well. Uh, based off the fact that I know I'm not the only one making videos on this. And then after that, he's going to issue a half-assed Twitter apology. And probably take the video down. Um, because I think that'll be the profitable decision. I, I mean, honestly. Dude, if he was gonna- like, I I I'm all about, like, accepting apologies. I think you have to if you demand them, right? Like, you have to- like, you ha if you demand an apology, you actually have to accept it. Otherwise, it means absolutely nothing. But, like, dude, I gave this guy so many outs in this conversation that you're gonna hear. It's insane. What By the way, like, unsubscribe from YouTubers who think that Gabby did something wrong in this situation. They obviously don't have a backbone. I, I don't ever say anything like that. Like, I, I guarantee this chat has never heard me utter those words before. Dude, if there's, like, a drama channel who's not bending on this, unsubscribe from them. Because they obviously don't have, like, the truth as their 
your best interests because it's actually fucking crazy. Gabby Hanna bad, where's my views and money? Yo, you're a millionaire now. Congratulations. Dude, Bo Blacks is literally right. Like, the thing that annoys me most is when people dick me around. Like, I just want you to answer the question. Like, I, to be honest, again, I think I tell Repzilla later in the call if he just said, like, hey, dude, I fucked up. Like, this conversation's over. Like, how do you grill somebody who apologizes? That's what I don't understand. Like, literally, all you have to do to get out of 99% of YouTube drama and never get shit on again is to just fucking own it when you do shit wrong, right? Like, Cordwit, like, shit on me in a video recently. All right, that's a little mean. He didn't shit on me, but, like, Cordwit criticized me in a way that was totally fucking valid. What did I do? I immediately dropped the Twitter thing telling him that he was 100% right because he definitely got me on something. That's totally fucking fair. I, I don't know why all these... And, by the way, I never heard another thing about it, but, like... Either way, that's not the point. You should be able to have the self-respect to go out and tell people like, hey, dude, I got this one thing wrong, or I got these two things wrong, or I got these three things wrong. It's just so much easier when you just tell the truth. So like one of the biggest unanswered, like unsolved mysteries of YouTube videos, right? Like this is a YouTube unsolved mystery. They're gonna, there's gonna be papers on this, dude. Like we're gonna have like college essays. Like I think my graduate paper in my, my degree is gonna be on this YouTube unsolved mystery. I don't know how we could figure it out. The, the unsolved mystery is why did Gabby Hanna think that the Devons family wanted an apology? I, I it's, it's a bonkers question because everybody's just saying Gabby blatantly lied, right? Like the, the parents, ne they never wanted an apology. That just never happened, right? And that like the, the big YouTube unsolved mystery is how she could have come to that conclusion, right? So... Uh, let's try to figure it out. I'll try to piece it together using some information that I don't know if everyone had access to because God fucking knows uh, the T-Channels didn't watch the video. But don't worry, guys. We watched the video. Let's watch this, dude. This is the original video. Okay? So we'll find out right now in 4K why Gabby interpreted it that way. Um, we just want to say that we were not offended by it at oh. all. We didn't see anything wrong. So this is the clip that most people have seen. Like, usually they shut it off here. Or they like, and then they get mad that the family took Gabby's side. With what she did, she Googled e-girl and pulled up a picture of Bianca. Yes, there was an article about what happened to her, but there wasn't anything. It was a simple mistake. There was nothing disrespectful about it. We didn't feel disrespected. We don't feel Bianca would have been disrespected. We think Bianca would have been honored and so excited that yes. Gabby Hanna pulled up her picture and was talking about her. No one should be offended. No one should be. All these drama channels that are you know, using Bianca for clout, it's absolutely ridiculous that's because that's all you're doing. We are offended about it. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, what was that? Wait, wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, did we just solve the fucking mystery? We just solved the fucking mystery, guys. Holy sh- How could Gabby have come away with thinking that they were offended and that maybe they would want an apology? No one should be offended. No one should be. All these drama channels that are, you know, using Bianca for clout, it's absolutely ridiculous that's because that's all you're doing. We are offended about and you guys also should be. I mean, like, I'm, it doesn't take a fucking rocket scientist. I genuinely feel like I'm screaming into a void. Willie Mac's trying to tell me this is a slam dunk, and I think it's a slam dunk. In fact, I think all of the facts are on my side, but unfortunately, this community is incestuous. You know the the I'm Alex group, right? You, you remember uh, uh, the lads on tour became the uh, the CDL. There was the NCO. There were all these big commentator groups that turned out to be extremely cringe. I think I found myself in one of those. And I think we're, we're the whole community is enveloped in it. I think it's a problem. I think there are a lot of people who try to hold people accountable for really being disingenuous right now. And I think we gotta talk about it, dude. Because we're in the Matrix. You, you've heard people say, like, your opinion is bad. Like, I, I disagree. Like, I don't know. I feel like some of these guys have never been disagreed with their entire lives. Or, like, they've thrown a temper tantrum every time it's ever happened. Like, I mean, I, dude, like, big news companies and stuff like that report on the stories and issue retractions all the time. I mean, Kotaku fucking reported that Halo was moved to 2021 because they read a fake Twitter account and then they had to issue a retraction. They were just commenting on it, but, like, they had to issue a retraction. It's, like, not a foreign concept. And again, Ready to Glare did that. She absolutely did. And she's more respectable than everybody else in the situation. People with large channels should absolutely correct themselves. Dude, if large channels who pull tons of views are called to like correct themselves on something, like they shouldn't be called on it. They should do it themselves. But at the very least, if they're called on to correct something and they don't do it, 
then like you're literally making the argument for YouTube to burn drama channels. Here's the deal, and maybe this is the hard pill to swallow. If this story goes unchecked, in my opinion, this means that like one of two things. I think the major thing that this would mean is that like T channels from now on are uncriticizable because in this situation, I think it's pretty black and white. In this one specific scenario, Gabby Hanna is objectively right. There's literally no gray area. It's just 100%. You can't make the argument that it's not. It's actually literally one-sided. And, and if you disagree, you're probably an idiot. If we can't win one, that's 100%, right? If we can't win one against the T channels where they literally fabricated an entire story, how are we supposed to clean up the gray ones? right like if these guys accuse somebody of being a pedophile and get it wrong how are we supposed to police ourselves on youtube if you're gonna lie about somebody control the whole narrative and all of this shit just happens and nobody can stop it you're making the argument for youtube to ban drama channels you really are uh, and it could become dude and if you don't think that's true this platform could be like twitch in a fucking instant dude all right there has to be some kind of order on this website if tabloids just start fucking lying about people destroy Destroying people's fucking careers who don't deserve it because that's where this goes from here dude it's not just gabby hannah gabby hannah got caught in this one situation where she did absolutely nothing wrong but maybe the next time it's not gabby hannah it's somebody else okay maybe somebody else loses their whole career over something this fucking stupid dude if we can't police that then we're asking youtube to police it for us and that's just the truth because what's gonna happen, dude, if something goes completely fucking haywire? What's gonna happen, dude, if like, I don't, I don't know, like, it's, if, if the fucking pressure gets put on YouTube, they cave every fucking time. And if you let people just destroy people for no reason who didn't do anything wrong, you're literally asking for trouble. Oh shit, oh, now that he's gone. What's up, Nick? What the fuck, pussy? You gone? Boblax, go, I think you have privileges. Go ahead, join him, Boblax. It's just like, dang. Yeah, I didn't want to just hop in because I didn't, I didn't want to like, Make anything like awkward or what's up, Boblax? But I will say, hey, Nick, I have the balls to say that I think Gabby Han is pretty much 100% in the right on this, and uh, the T channels definitely f***ed up. I agree pretty much with Nick's like opinion, factual wise. I don't agree with how he's going about treating Revzilla, but uh, that's just a personal thing. I treat people, yeah, that's a just as someone who's also been treated by <laughs> just all, all, the, all these, these quote unquote T channels. Since this situation's happening, are they not out there making videos and all and just capitalizing off this stuff? And I, I, I still haven't made any videos since almost nearly two years ago. And I'm having to sit here answering to Nick, Nick because, you know, he can act like that all he wants to and even call me emotional or whatever, whatever the f he wants. But it's like, he... If you it. made... The, would you, like make that video today like do you regret the stuff you said in that video about the initial situation I think well you watched it recently so let's see what you think yeah like do you do you are you like oh i wish i said something differently like obviously you wouldn't have called it a murder article if you were to redo it and stuff like that so uh, when the situation was happening there was a lot of high emotions and I, it, it was all unfolding at the same time with everything I was covering, I had just released a video on uh, Gabby Hanna uh, treating Jesse Smiles like literal garbage. And then uh, I'd also just covered uh, the, the, tra the tragedy that happened. And then this happened. And it's just to me, with the emotions that I had, my, I was just like, I, how, how do you, with as big a story as this is, how do you not see this in this article? It's in bold, it's right there next to her picture. Nick's argument is, well, he, she was just saying the pit, the this thing was nice, but I mean, still, emotions were high. And yeah, so it was like a bit of an overreaction due to the previous context. You're like, oh, That's what cute. the f Gabby? Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. you know. And then uh, I was like, man, this kid, and, and you got to understand the video also has to make it past editing. So it's just like, listen, I'm a YouTuber too. I make videos. I'm looking at this article. I look at the article. I look at the whole articles because sometimes the ads on those articles will dox your address if you're not careful. So I'm looking at the article. That would have not made it past for me. I would have seen that and been like, you know what? I should probably choose a different article. That's what I yeah. should probably do. Would I apologize? On Maybe. Yeah. Too? I mean, Gabby probably should have looked at the article, but she did blur it afterwards. And I don't. I think the notion that Gabby was intentionally trying to exploit a murder victim is just completely insane i think it's fine that she even like uh you know 
uh, complimented the girl's t-shirt in the article or in the video or whatever. That's me too. Like, as I said in Tommy's stream, but, uh, I should have probably not titled it that, which I did change it upon their suggestion, yes. And uh, I should have made it a little bit more clear that the whole entire article was not about the uh, tragedy. Just that one part of the article. But that was just an right. oversight. Yeah. You know, that, yeah. You know yeah. I did my shit. And like... Yeah, that's like a minor oversight, just like... And, and then the rest of the, in the rest of the video, Nick is acting like, like my takes are like all these other T channels. They're not. You watch the video, I'm soft as hell. Like... I'm not trying to intentionally hurt people in my videos. I mean, it's pretty clear. And that he makes it out like that's what it is. That's what it feels like he's trying to make it out. And I'm trying to say, no, it's not. But yeah, so the, I, I apologize. Well, I, I think he's saying that, like, you're saying that your video wasn't a mistake and you still stand by it. No. Yeah, I, yeah, I think that was the issue. I think, I think Nick was, like, having issues with you, like, not regretting it, I guess. I, I don't know. No, yeah, but dude, not, you know, that's not what he, that's he not, wants hey, you to regret it. That's not what he said. And plus, I can, you can I can barely keep up with him because he doesn't he doesn't even let you get yeah, a word. He says in a it. lot of sentences at once. Yes, exactly. So no, like, it, would I make that video now that, with given all this stuff? No. Are you serious? I, that's why I've not made any content on this stuff. My yeah, but but he's saying like, would you even make the video? Like say say there like you could go back in time. You remove the emotional value from it, but it's all the facts that are from 2020 are still there. So it's just Gabby making the mistake in the video. No, would wouldn't. you still make a video on that? No. Yeah. So so yeah, you do regret it. I guess there's doesn't make a miscommunication between you and Nick. I think that's yeah. Because Nick said you walk, you regretted well, well, and saw me stream. Yeah. And now you're okay. What back. I feel a lot. Yeah. Exactly. And what I feel a lot is like you know like uh, reps obviously many of reps points where he was offended that like yo Nick I thought we was cool why wouldn't you re reach out to me? How am I supposed to deal with this type of situation? Like, I feel like I, I feel like I get in situations like this a lot. I, I don't I don't understand the shit. Like it, it to me it's pretty like logically easy and. I, Maybe I just have a different way of interpreting things, but it's like the emo emotion for me. It's like context during that time. Emotions were high. It was yeah, irrelevant. It, 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 Nick doesn't have emotions. You can't talk about emotions. Well, in he Nick. has emotions, but he's trying to look at the situation. Wait, wait, you, you, wait. You're Bobak, you're saying Nick has emotions? Really? Yes, I've, I've. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, is that a leak? Is that a leak? Shit, shit, is, that shit, like shit, a big, is that like a big DM leak? Is that a behind wait, 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 the scenes leak? That, hey. that Nick has sympathy and empathy. My pre my pretend I didn't say that. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm. I think that. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it is a weird situation. You know, it's like especially weird. I I, I can I can see where where your episode is coming from. Of course, for for sure. Ah, uh, anyways. Yeah, that was. Ulysses, easy. What about DC? What is what does it mean, DC? What about? I'm. I mean, I was. I'm not gonna lie. Like, what does DC stand I'm, for? I'm sober and pissed off. Like, it's hard for me not to be. Like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, Nick went off the rails. He definitely was like intoxicated to some extent. Probably, he kind of went off the rails. I haven't seen him go off the rails in that like uh, long. Since... No, in terms of his points, but in terms of his like aggression. I again, like, I don't want to undermine Nick. I, everything he was saying, I completely understand and get and agree with. Uh, I, I just, you, can see you know, both, he was over aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. What? Bo yeah. Black actually have the ability to see both sides of the situation? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Gabiana is uh, a little intense, um, a lot intense, actually. What other content did I have prepared for her? Oh, right. So, um, you know what's actually, I thought was really interesting is that. Angelica Olds brought this point on that Gabby Hanna herself has actually made a video about a different girl that was murdered and in, in, that she went to school with or knew in the past. And her own mother was like, yo, wh why are you reflecting her like this to your millions of viewers, you know? And she ended up making an apology, but she ever donated money, you know, kind of thing. It's, I don't know. It's a, it's a whole mess. Like, dude, the, the, touching anything related to Gabby Hanna ends up like touching anything yeah. related to fucking Onision. It's, it's like, because oh. there's, yeah, it's because w when you look at a Gabby Hanna situation, I feel like a lot of people who know Gabby Hanna really well, they can't isolate the situation and they like uh, relate like everything Gabby is doing onto like a situation. Like, for hey, example, that's true. That's true. This, this Bianca case is so cut and dry that I think the T channels are in the wrong and Gabby's in the right. But since there's all this other stuff around Gabby, it like kind of, 
you know, yeah. infects the situation. It's hard That's to look at it objectively. Exactly. And to be fair, it happens in our community too. Like maybe if Ethan Klein did something, you know, yep. we would look at it way more like badly because of his past even if he's good objectively point. in the right i think ultimately if he's objectively in the right we'd say he's objectively in the right like for example i think he's in the right with the trailer lawsuit i've said that on my channel um but you know there's still gonna be that bias and i can see yep. why people have that bias towards gabby Internal but it's also bias, good yeah. that there's people who don't have that bias like me and nick who are coming in more fresh to you know yeah, no, that, that makes that, that that makes absolute uh, sense. I I think that's uh that's definitely Angelica Olds. Like she in her video, she starts stating all these points about like, well, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Gabby has this past with this. She like like the fact that I mean, it does sound kind of weird to look at it com to a completely like outsider perspective when you don't know the stories of Jesse's mouse and everything. Like for Angelica to start telling this like mother, like hey, well, you know, Gabby has this like sketchy past with like Jesse's mouse. The gap, like the mother's gonna be like, what? What are you talking about? This is what confuses me about some of the T channels' responses recently, is that and to say that they're uh, not on the wrong because uh, this whole situation hinges on the opinion and feelings of Bianca's mother and sisters and family members. Right. Right. Like the whole point yeah. of calling Gabby out is that this could cause stress for the family. So the family is always the the you know core thing we're trying to focus on the family's feelings. So if the family says they're okay with Gabby, the family says they're, they agree with Nick's opinion, then that means Gabby and Nick are right, because that is what this whole drama is, like, centered around, is whether or not Bianca's family is comfortable with how Bianca is being talked about online. Well, also, happy birthday, Edwin. Oh, thank you, bro. Thank you. I'm old, yeah. How right. old are you now? Thir oh, this is the first time I've been asked this, this entire stream, so 32. Oof, not saying it again. Damn. Dude, once well, you pass 30, I'm, you don't... I don't think that's too old, like... Too old? What the fuck is too old? Not too old. Well, if you're, like, 40 and you're on the internet talking about YouTube drama, I don't know. Like, if you're Tommy C, like, I don't know, dude. Like, he's a little crusty. Like, he Thank you, to, like, Mike. go to a retirement home. Like, I don't know. But, uh... Well, my, Tommy 42? C's too old? Oh, shit. Okay. Time for the next uh, Bo Black's live stream on Tommy C's show. Damn, dude. So <laughs> Ashley's here. What's up, Ashley? Hey. Uh, <laughs> How you doing, oh, girl? Okay, yeah. take a side right now. <laughs> Zilla or Nick? Okay, listen. <laughs> Do you want my actual opinion? Uh, if you want to share it. No, I'm fine with it because I've been, like, really thinking about it for the past day or so. And I feel like me and, like, Edwin and everybody have all, like, kind of talked a lot about it as it's been developing. And I think, like, I, I definitely... 100,000% think that there's nothing wrong with Gabby's video. She obviously didn't mean to do it. There's nothing wrong with that video. Like, in my last video, the whole Shannon thing, at the end, I completely ignored something on screen by accident and kept the video there. I edited it, I screenshotted it, everything, but I got it wrong, even though it was right there on screen. I said it wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong with her video at all. I think drama channels 100% milk her for content because she's an easy target because she sure does a lot of things wrong. And she does say a lot of f***ed up things. So she's super easy for people to cover, right? It's an easy mm -hmm. buck, just like it is to talk about like TikTok drama. While I do agree that drama channels 100% enabled the discussion to continue and kept the bringing up this traumatic subject to this family, and it probably did further traumatize them because it was constantly in their face, I don't think it's fair to say that they are the reason that the pictures were sent to the family. Because that's I, objectively not true. That's fair. But, Yep. Because, I mean, those yeah. were on 4chan, those were on Lolcal, or right. not Lolcal, but like the Kiwi Farms, whatever. Wars. That mm -hmm. very specific point about the pictures is just not true. Was it, did they probably get kicked back up into the algorithm of the internet and get thrown around again? Sure. But those are not the reason for that. So that's my take. Yeah. <laughs> I think people are giving Gabby way too much. People are saying Gabby manipulated the family, like. Every time I see Gabby, like, post about something, like, on her YouTube, I see, like, all of T-Twitter just, like, fucking all caps, like, Gabby, you're a monster, okay. disgusting. I'm like, can, dude, can I just she say, did that for her video okay, today, which... I, I would like to say that uh, a video titled, like, Gabby's Horrible to Her Sister feels really weird. And maybe it's because I'm taking it too personally, but, like, a video, like, titled, like, if somebody's about my family, like... Oh, my sister said this about me on social media. I would feel weird, you know. Like it's, it gets, it, you know, personal boundaries like with family. Yep. It gets, it feels weird. Sometimes you gotta relate it to yourself. Like, okay, how would this feel coming from me? You know, like 
it, you know, and this is what I, this is what I told her. I was like, bro, you, you named that video like Gabby Hanna is a I'm disrespected a murder victim. Imagine like a video called about you like Edwin's generation disrespected a murder victim. I would never want that in my life. I would never. <laughs> What I was trying to ex uh, what I was trying to do is I was trying to explain uh, Nick my thought process and how I felt during the time and why I felt that way, uh, but as Bo Blacks put it, now yeah I fucked up I wouldn't have did that. I wouldn't. Wait, he, that. I, I, I guess he didn't hear that. He didn't hear that. He wanted to hear that. You know, he wanted he wanted to hear you kneel. And I feel like you're right on that last on that thing you said there. Yeah, and I mean, I like, the it's like I feel like he's taking I it. And yeah, that's like, I'm easily accessible to him. He's taking about all, out all his frustrations on these T channels on me specifically. That's what I feel like. Well, yeah, because you're Dude, the only hey, one. Dude, hey, hey, you want to know something? Exactly. Speaking of the devil, Nicholas Dior just tweeted positivity turtles roughly two minutes ago. What? So, Dude, son of a leave bitch. Leave the turtles out of it. Yeah, leave <laughs> the fucking turtles. The turtles didn't do shit to you, bro. Drama.